right, so before I share with you the renovation process and the final result, I just want to say thank you to all of you. Because without you and your continued support, this project wouldn't even be possible. I'm extremely grateful beyond words. Thank you. Now, I've always wanted a cozy, modern, and minimalist desk setup with less clutter and just the bare essentials and have a dedicated space to shoot different products that I'm testing or featuring. And while this setup is functional with everything we need right within our reach, I feel like it has a lot of things going on and just looks pretty cluttered. Honestly, I wasn't able to shoot anything here since there's always something distracting in the background. Aside from that, I also need more storage space to keep everything that I'm not going to use on a daily basis out of sight to make my video production more seamless since I don't have to clean every time I need to film something. With that said, I was able to come up with this design idea, replacing the open shelves on both sides with enclosed and taller cabinets. And then right at the center is the desk setup. I also decided that I want to add some fluted panels for a more modern look. I also wanted to get rid of the tubes of the air conditioning as it is one of the eyesores on the setup. The initial plan is to just use a PVC cover but ultimately, I decided to cover the entire thing with a removable wood cover. More on that later. Overall, I honestly feel like it turned out pretty well, and I feel like I'm inside a cozy cabin whenever I sit on this desk setup. Now, any renovation project involves a lot of hard work, dedication, and time, but thanks to the Dyson V15 Detect, it made the cleanup process easier and more efficient. We recently picked this up, and I also want to share with you my experience with it. Alright, now that you have a bit of an idea about the thought process for this renovation project, let's get into it. Now, another good reason why I wanted to renovate this part of my studio is the fact that we have a leak issue on the corner of our ceiling. And luckily, we're able to fix it without having to remove the rest of our roof. The next thing that we did is remove the wallpaper on the wall in preparation for a painting and fluted panel installation. As you can tell, any renovation project is an absolute mess, but thanks to the Dyson V15 Detect Wireless Vacuum Cleaner, we're able to clean the floor every chance we have and prevent the dirt from spreading across the entire house. Next, we added some putty on the wall to make it as smooth as possible before painting it dark gray. Another reason for this renovation project is to remove the old window type aircon and cover it up. These are the things that I've always wanted to fix in my studio that I never had the time to deal with. But I realized that if I wait for the time I finally finish all my backlogs before doing this project, this will never happen. <laughs> so I just went with it even though I know my timeline will be pushed to at least a week. So I apologize for the delays on our product review videos. Alright, so now that all the messy and dirty parts of the project are done, and before we move on to the good part, let me just share with you my experience with the Dyson V15 Detect Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. Full disclaimer, Dyson did not pay me for this feature, but they did generously send the Dyson V15 Detect to help out with our newly renovated studio. So thank you Dyson. The Dyson V15 Detect came in a huge box, and inside it we have a bunch of items. Let me break it down real quick. Inside the box, we have the main digital motor bar, which is essentially the all-purpose attachment. It features an anti-tangle comb and a combination of soft and hard brushes. For most tasks, this is what I use, and you don't have to worry about vacuuming hairs, strings, and things around that nature. It also has a soft fabric around it to protect your furniture. Next, we have its little brother, the hair screw tool, which also features an anti-tangle design and is more suitable for human and pet hairs in small spaces. Just look how easily it avoids tangles. Nice. Then we have the Laser Slim Fluffy Cleaner Head that features a freaking laser that reveals tiny dust on hard floors. This makes cleaning dark areas easier and thanks to its slim form factor, it is ideal for tight spaces. Aside from that, we also have the 2-in-1 combination tool with a wide nozzle and a brush, good for desktop use and in small spaces. Speaking of small spaces, of course, we have the crevice tool for corners and narrow spaces. It even has some ventilations to reduce unwanted pressure. We also have the extension rod in a clip so that you can attach the basic heads for quick access. Super convenient. Of course, we have the charging station and the power brick. And lastly, we have the main Dyson V15 Detect cordless vacuum. It features a pistol-like design with an intuitive trigger, a pull-down lever to eject dust and debris, and a magazine-like removable battery. Definitely feels bad as like a Ghostbuster. It also has a removable and washable filter right here at the end. Now, most of the main attachments have integrated circuit boards and directly communicate with the main unit via these pins. This allows the vacuum to automatically adjust the suction power depending on the floor type and the amount of dust it detects. 
You can even hear how it ramps up depending on the amount of suction power needed in a specific area which is mind-blowing and is definitely more efficient in terms of battery life. It also has an LCD display wherein you will see in real time the amount and sizes of all the particles it picks up. It's useless in my opinion but a very fancy feature nonetheless. Other than that, you can also see your current runtime, switch between modes, and other miscellaneous settings. Now, what I like about the Dyson V15 Detect is how convenient, intelligent, and powerful it is. Honestly, the most powerful vacuum I've ever had, especially under boost mode. I also like the anti-tangle feature. I cannot tell you enough how annoying it is to remove strangled hairs on the brush of our robot vacuum, so having to deal with none of that with the Dyson V15 is absolutely awesome. Speaking of our robot vacuum, while it is super convenient having it to do all the cleaning, sometimes it doesn't finish the job well compared to manually cleaning the areas you need, especially on corners and tight spaces. It is also easier to just pick up the cordless vacuum and clean a specific area than tinkering with the mobile app of the robot vacuum. I also like the option of having different attachments for specific tasks, making cleaning more versatile and flexible. And lastly, I like how everything can be taken apart for maintenance. On the other hand, what I don't like about this is that this is a dry-only vacuum. This means I still need to rely on our robot vacuum to do some mopping jobs from time to time. It is also fairly heavy if you're going to use it other than on the floor. Other than that, easily the best vacuum cleaner I've ever had. The question is, is the 50000 price tag worth it for a vacuum? Well, yes and no. This is definitely not for everyone and has its own target market space. Yes, if you have the budget and if you treat it as a sort of long-term investment, it is a phenomenal piece of technology that can make your cleaning not just easy, but fun. No, if you don't have the budget, and in reality, there are a ton of cheaper alternatives, might not be as good as this, but good enough for most people. If you're interested in a full review of this vacuum, I will publish my full review on our website, techbureau.com. Check the links below. Alright, so with that out of the way, let's get back into our renovation project. So after the repaint and cover-up job, I vacuumed the studio and moved the newly built cabinet inside so that we can measure the area that the fluted panels will cover. For the installation, we just used Bostic No Nails because it is easier, it doesn't require drilling out holes in the concrete wall. Then I asked my friend, who happens to service air conditioners, to fix the tubes, combine them on one hole, and adjust the level of the drain. Then instead of covering just the tube, I decided to create a wooden cover that will cover the entire air conditioning unit for a more seamless loop. Yes, I understand that this is not ideal for maintenance, but we made it removable using these hooks for quick removal every 6 months. And yes, I also understand that the placement of the desk setup itself is not ideal under a split type aircon, but trust me when I say that I have no other option here in my tiny little studio. Every wall is pretty much blocked, and I'm already used to removing my desk every 6 months, so yeah. As for the cover itself, don't worry as the top part is fully open with an ample amount of gap for intake, and the bottom also has ventilation. Next, we move the second cabinet inside, and this one also houses my 3D printer. Yes, I also understand that I have an addiction when it comes to storage spaces, but I really just want to have all the clutter out of sight. It makes me more relaxed whenever my studio is tidy, so having a good amount of close storage to easily hide things is priceless. Now, here's the part where I become a little bit lucky. The table I previously had here almost didn't fit the space. Luckily, removing one of its legs and placing it on top of the Alex drawer worked pretty well with just the right amount of space for the PC. It is fairly level too as per checking, which is nice. It feels a little more cramped than I would have preferred, but I'll take it. Next is cable management. I decided to have my cable rack magnetic for quick removal and I think it turned out pretty good. The smart power strip that I have also fitted tightly and perfectly on the gap of the legs. Again, thanks to the Dyson V15 Detect, cleaning up this tight space was a piece of cake. Now, all that is left is to put back all the necessary peripherals like the monitor, keyboard, mouse, and desk mat. Speaking of the desk mat, what I have here is an exclusive preview of Alpha Unlimited's upcoming premium vegan leather desk mats. What I like about this is the overall quality with an additional non-slip rubber base and stitch edging. This one in particular is standard 900 by 400 millimeters. For the keyboard, what I have here is the Techware Veil 80 with the Flyon Ink tactile switches and the XMI by Bion keycaps. A Flyon Inks is one of my favorite tactile switches and are just satisfying to type with. I chose this because it is tri-mode, which my wife can also use with her laptop. 
For the mouse, I have the Lenovo Go, which is also a tri-mode productivity wireless mouse. As for the monitor, we have the Cooler Master GM34CW Ultrawide Gaming Monitor that I was previously using on my main desk setup before I got my LG C2 TV. This is still one of the better options for an affordable ultrawide gaming monitor. On top of it, we have a Blitzwolf curved monitor light bar that perfectly matches the curvature of the ultrawide monitor. It also has a wireless control knob that you can use to adjust the brightness and color temperature. It also has an RGB LED backlight on the other side, which I rarely use as I feel like it is totally useless due to its orientation towards the ceiling instead of the wall. And lastly, in terms of peripherals, we have the Fantex Smart Ambient Light that I use as a sort of backlighting to add a little bit of warmth on the setup alongside the LED strip at the back of the table. This is controllable using its inline control, the included infrared controller, or via a mobile app and can be voice activated as well. For the desktop PC, I still have my Deepcool PC build that I built last year featuring the Deepcool CK560 chassis. It has a rather dated AMD Ryzen 7 3700X and a Galax RTX 3060. More than enough for my wife's admin tasks. Oh, by the way, did I mention that this setup is actually for my wife? Yes, and occasionally, I'll use this for testing and shooting products. I also added my old IKEA lamp on the corner to add more warmth on the setup and to fill that space. Initially, I was planning on adding a plant but unfortunately, the piece lilies that I bought don't fit there, so yeah. Almost every device on this setup is plugged into either a smart power strip or a smart plug so I can turn them on and off using voice commands. Speaking of turning on and off, since the aircon is now covered, using the infrared remote control is quite challenging. You have to point it near the gap for the infrared signal to get recognized. So what I did is I used a universal IR blaster from Lasco and placed it inside the cover so that I can control the aircon using my mobile phone. I can also control it using voice commands which is pretty awesome. In total, I have at least 30 smart devices here in the studio. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in a dedicated video about my smart home setup. As for the cabinets, I added an open shelf here for our Glade air freshener and the Realme Smart Cam 360 security camera. I also moved my mechanical keyboard switches here on one of the cabinets to again make everything tidier. Beside the left side cabinet is where I mounted the charging station for the Dyson V15 Detect and it is the perfect placement since it is at the center of our house. On the right side cabinet, I have my Ender 3 V2 3D printer and on two of the drawers of my IKEA Alex drawer, I have my collection of 3D printed desk accessories like headphone hangers, watch holders, hooks, and things like that. Huge thanks by the way to my cousin Kuya Joven for doing pretty much all the renovation work. I can talk about tech all day, but when it comes to being a handyman, I'll just hire someone else to do it. <laughs> Overall, I'm super happy with how everything turned out. Even though my content timeline was pushed for about a week, it's totally worth it in my opinion. I still can't believe that I now have this amazing cozy setup to work with and how everything has changed throughout the years. I can still remember how it looked like and how I felt 6 years ago when I first set up my desk here. So looking back, I'm so blessed beyond my imagination. All of this again is thanks to all your support. Everything I have won't be possible without each and every one of you who continues to watch my videos. Of course, thank you as well to all the brands that are continuously supporting me through sponsorship, review samples, and just simply recognizing my efforts. Thank you. It is not the end yet, as this is not the only space we've renovated this past few weeks. My main desk setup also got a slight redesigning, again to make everything more simple and modern. After that, I'm also planning on making a dedicated studio tour of everything I have here, including my smart home setup, so make sure to subscribe so you won't miss out. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Have a great day guys, I'm extremely grateful, you're awesome.